kind of started saying what is the one piece of gear that you could not create and write and do what you do without out of all the stuff i have i probably use the camper the most um especially being a guitar player yeah you know i i've had many amps over the years and i just since i write so much i switch to the camper because and i don't have a big space so like you know i don't I don't really have room for amps everywhere. I have one that I n- literally never use. It's got dust all over it. It's like I never use it because I have the profile <laughs> in my camper and I just, I don't know. I use the camper on everything I do always. It, I love how it sounds. Yeah. I mean, that's probably my favorite, my favorite thing that I, yeah, I would say the camper. Dude, that's for writing, especially too. Um, and just as a gu- and just as a guitar player, I agree. It's like there's only so much real estate in a space, and we like we're you know Tom's at uh, True Level, our spot uh, up outside Philly, and uh, and you know we have we, we've had to relegate a bunch of the heads and stuff that we have to downstairs, you know, in the basement, and only bring out the ones you know that we're using at a time, just because otherwise it would be. Uh, it would be a treacherous uh, mountain over there on that stage left wall. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I mean, treacherous mountain is already intact right now. I ha- like <laughs> there's like nine heads over there right now, and and it like it's eaten up all the space. So yeah, well, yeah. we're gonna that space is gonna continue to get eaten because I'm gonna send you some stuff to reamp um, probably later this week. <laughs> but dude, and so the, and this is why a lot of people do in, like in the amp sim world, but especially like the profile stuff. It's stuff that you're used to, I'd imagine too. Like you said, it's it's that amp that you that you own. Yeah. So yeah. I, and I'm a firm believer, and I'm sure you probably are too, that uh, the tone of uh, you know uh, of a guitar and of an amp influences what you play, influences what you start to lay down whether it's a lead it's like the amount of gain is going to color your decision making based on how things feel and sound especially in a track so the fact that you're it's it's familiar sounds more so than just as many like sounds and amp you know sims as you could ever imagine i think is maybe even more important sometimes as a writer uh oh totally i mean i think the it all goes back to me having like a mixed template that i write into like hearing the tone of things really, really plays a big part in, in the stuff I write sometimes. And having the Kemper, like, also, like, you know, if, if I switch to, like, a to- like a like a Vox or something, it's, I'm going to write something totally different than using, like, a, a dual rag. And I do that sometimes for that reason. And, and having the ability to do on the fly and not switching amps and, like, it's just and doing it so fast because like i'm a songwriter before i'm a producer or anything else i am those things too but i'm i I consider myself a songwriter first i want to be able to like you know switch whatever i need to switch really fast and have it sound as real as possible and i feel like that's that's why i like it so much that's amazing and so i'd I'd imagine almost too that like that your template itself is kind of like a close second in terms of something that really helps you function in in efficiency i don't know maybe we'll maybe i'll have to elbow james and we'll talk later about you know uh, maybe we can get some screenshots or even like potentially share a like super, uh, simple, simplified form of your template. Cause I know there's probably people listening to this that are like, dude, that's what I need. <laughs> you know? Um, oh yeah, I can definitely do that for sure. Dude. It's, and I, I know too, it's like having that even within logic or building those things out, it helps inform the way you write and how productive you can actually be with writing too. 100%. So yeah, maybe what, yeah, maybe, uh, maybe we'll see about throwing some sort of uh giveaway out there because that uh, like because that i think would be a really interesting thing um for a a lot of people that are not just guitar players but you know people that play guitar in an effort to write a song and or vocalist even like having a template where uh you know if you have a vocal and then harmony slot lines and then a vocal double slot line all of those things you can put together a melody and have it sound dialed in super quick right and it's very important to know whether or not you're 
vocal idea is going to set is going to be able to sell in the studio. Um, you know, so, um, dude, that's awesome. What an incredible thing. Yeah. We might have to link to that, uh, in the notes or, um, as part of our like membership community thing. Um, but more on that soon. Thank you for, uh, I'm glad I, it was only a matter of time, Tom, before somebody got down to brass tacks and said the Kemper or, you know, so, you know, because I know that yeah. they're floating around in so many studios. Um, and, I, and there's such a great tool. And if you're out there being like, dude, real amps forever, shut up. You clearly weren't listening to <laughs> the last 10 <laughs> minutes. Uh, there's a, there's right. a rhyme and a reason to it for sure. 100%. Definitely. But dude, again, thank you so much um, for sharing your piece of gear candy with us. I love that. Um, we will, uh, we will see you soon. Sounds good. Thank you so much. Music to my ears.